You know, I've come to the conclusion that bike riding is the new golf. And the best part of all is once you're up and running, there are no fees to pay. All I need now is somebody to ride with. Hey, Coxie, you want to go for a ride? What are the chances of that? Hey, hang on, hang on, wait for me, I'm coming. This is the beautiful Grand Ridge Rail Trail. It's 13 kilometres long and runs from Bulara to Merbu North in the stunning Streslecky Ranges. Now, if you're keen, it takes about two hours' drive from Melbourne to get here. So it's really a nice family ride. Like, it's not like a, an Olympic marathon, is it? Oh, no, no, a great little family ride. The whole family can enjoy this ride. Bill is from the Department of Sustainability and Environment. He says that in 2009, this entire area was ravaged by bushfires. Since then, DSE have spent $1.6 million improving the trail. Land is, uh, is Crown Land. Right. It's one of the rail trail reserves, one of the many reserves we have throughout the state that we look after. And we've appointed a local community manager to look after the trail and to look after the daily maintenance of the trail. So, with DSE looking after it, it'll always be in this condition? Yes, that's the answer, yes. Not only is it better than before, it's now more accessible than ever. Walkers, the mobility impaired, and even bikers like us can all enjoy the new trail. Righto, Bill, how far we got to go? That's about the halfway point, Coxie. I just didn't realise the fires were, were this big. That's huge. A large area just stopped by the CFA on the outskirts of Ballara. A deliberate uh, line was drawn in the sand to, to stop it from taking over a township of 700 people. Local resident Neil Cartwright could only watch as the fire swept through. Must have been a pretty scary time, was it? It was frightening in indeed, because my wife and daughter had abandoned the house. I, I told them to, to go to her friends, and uh, my neighbours and I stopped uh, and, uh, in an attempt to, uh, to fight. But luckily, it changed direction. Neil says today, the trail follows the route of the old railway line, which ran from 1885 to 1974, carrying passengers and supplies. See you, lads. See you, Neil. Let's get a go. <laughs> Thanks, Neil. The biggest improvement to the trail has been the construction of two 66-metre triple arch steel bridges across the steep gullies at Bear Creek and Dali Moola. So where was the original bridge? It's just downstream of that log there, Coxie. Down this hill, across the bridge, and then up the other side. That's right, yep. So even for the bike riders, it was tough. Oh, it was tough, it was a tough crossing. Come on, Bill, it's a great ride, but, like, how much further is it? Oh, just around the next bend, Coxie. Oh, just around the next bend. Boy, have I heard that before. Ah, this looks more like it. The Dalliance Chocolatieri and Provador in Merbu North is run by Kay Henry. It's the perfect pit stop for the weary rider. The food looks great, but what have you got for two hungry cyclists that have just ridden 13 k's, I might add? I think I've got something special that I'll bring out for you both. This place smells amazing. And how about those chocolate stilettos? Oh. Come on, Kay, I said we were hungry, not starving. There you go, boys, enjoy. <laughs> Fantastic. For more info on the Grand Ridge Rail Trail and the recent improvements made by DSE, jump online at dse.vic.gov.au. Mate, that looks great. Now, who's coming to pick us up? Uh, mate, Cox will be riding back. What? 